In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys five things you're going to need as a dispatcher, guys. If you're new to this business, these are the only five things you're going to need. And stick around to the end of this video because the fifth thing I'm going to be going over is the most important thing you're going to need. You see a lot of other dispatching videos, a lot of other dispatching training. They're going to tell you you need all these things. You're going to have to do all of this. But I'm going to break it down to you guys in the easiest way possible in just five simple steps. Because if you don't know, man, this is Black Investors Group where we do make investing easy and I do post daily on the easiest way to make this money so with all that being said let's get straight into it five things you need to start your dispatching business five things you need to be a successful dispatcher let's get into it stay tuned for more after the intro Woo! So of course, guys, the most important thing you're gonna need to start this business, the first thing you're gonna need before you even get any drivers is going to have to be a load board, guys, because you're gonna need this load board before you do anything else, because let's just say you go up to a driver tomorrow and be like, hey man, man do you need a load? I got a dispatching company and I can give you some of the best load options to take you to some of the best cities or whatever it is that you wanna say. And then the driver or the carrier that you just talked to is like, yeah, man, I need it right now. I need a load right now taking me somewhere before the market ends so you don't want to be in that predicament of like oh i don't even got a load board no you already need to be ready so you have to have this load board already set he says all right he needs a load boom now you can get on the load board and deliver him a load now you probably just heard me say when the market closes i know you're thinking like it's not a stock market what do you mean the trucking is always open no guys most of these warehouses, most of these brokers, they're closing, they're ending their shift. Most of these dispatchers are ending their shifts at six o'clock, guys, six o'clock Eastern time. And maybe if you are in the central region, if you're in California area, guys, maybe it still is on your Pacific time or whatever, but it is closing at six o'clock time. So one key tip to being a dispatcher is you wanna rise and grind, guys. You wanna wake up early. You wanna wake up around five o'clock in the morning, even six o'clock, because that's when these fresh loads are getting posted for same day delivery, same day pickup, same day drop off. So if you get up around six o'clock, guys, contact your drivers, especially if your drivers already told you where they wanna go for the next day. Obviously, wake up at six o'clock and you can have them a load before your driver even wakes up. On the other hand, after lunch hours, guys, after around 12 to two o'clock, guys, this is when you're gonna see more of your next day load. So you're gonna see more loads for the next day. Now, you still can get some same day delivery, same day pickup loads, guys at this after lunch hours, you know, around two o'clock, but especially after three o'clock, most of the loads that are posted is for delivery of the next day, guys. So keep that in mind. After around three o'clock, you're gonna be getting your driver loads for the next day. It may be same day pickup, or even sometimes it's gonna be the next day pickup because you know, drivers or dispatchers are taking these loads off the board, guys. And this is just what you have to settle with if you're late. So like they always say, the early bird gets the worm. But before I get into too much more, guys, don't forget to go into the links in the description. Check out all of the things that we have to offer to make yourselves make the most money the easiest way possible. We do have ebooks in the link in the description, and I do offer coaching calls so that I can guide you through being a truck dispatcher. I can guide you through starting an online business, and I can guide you through making the best and most passive income as possible. Also, I will help you start up your trucking business or dispatching business, whatever you please. Go ahead and check out the Calendly backslash King Lotta link in the description and schedule you a 10 to 30 minute phone call and we can start making all of this money that's available to be made. And don't forget about my YouTube memberships, guys. If you've seen my videos in the past, I was promoting the Patreon, but now we have all of the content over that was on the Patreon over on the YouTube memberships for a much, much cheaper price, more than half off. So go ahead and check out the YouTube memberships so you can start learning how to make this money the easy way. Back to the video. Woo! Another key essential thing that you're gonna need in this business, and this is before you're gonna get your drivers over the road, before these drivers are gonna start getting loads from you, is a carrier packet and a driver agreement packet, okay? So the carrier agreement packet is when 
you go over all your services that you're gonna provide to your carrier all the fees guys that you're gonna have to charge him at the end of the week or after each load so being a dispatcher you could charge a weekly fee of 10 percent so say the one driver only works with your services here dispatching him or her loads every single day and at the end of the week they just make four thousand so ten percent of that is four hundred into the dispatcher's pockets that'll be in the carrier agreement or guys if you are charging 10 percent per load then that will have to be in the carrier agreement along with just all your other services you know no force dispatch you know just everything that you're going to provide in that carrier agreement packet now the carrier packet is when your carrier has all their driver information and all of their business information on this packet and what you have to do with this carrier packet is pretty much fill it out for each load that you are going to get for the broker guys so say you're getting a load from the broker you're on the load board boom 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 found their number hey can i get this load for 800 they say yes they're gonna say fill out this carrier packet and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through your files from the carrier packet that your driver already sent you and you're just easily gonna take that file you can either drag and drop it copy and paste it on whatever the broker sent you or most of the case guys you're gonna have to manually input all of the drivers information by yourself so this is one of the petty parts of the business you know you have to keep filling out carrier packets on the brokers end for your carrier but this is why your carrier or your driver whatever you want to call them your client this is why your client is paying you so that they don't have to look on the load board for long periods of time and so they don't have to fill out carrier packets every time they want to load now another important thing that needs to be discussed is a invoicing system so when you are giving out these loads guys you want to invoice your drivers in the first day or the first two days after you get them their first load so when you're first starting out with a new driver invoice them probably you know the next day so that you can make sure that that driver is trustworthy or not because what you don't want to do is you don't want to be on the load board all week you know hustling your behind off trying to get loads for your driver and you supplied him five loads for the week and at the end of the week he's not going to pay you because he's just made five thousand dollars off of you he just made four thousand dollars off of you and why would he give you your four hundred dollars when his money's already in his pocket so to prevent this all you would simply do is just invoice them after their first load so you can make sure that they're going to pay you their money and once you build that trust with your driver then you can you know invoice them weekly or then you can invoice them after every three days but you want to get yourself an invoicing system System so that you can properly do your taxes with your business and so you can properly keep everything filed and everything in order of who's paying you and how much money you're making so now over on the whiteboard man let's just go over the recap before I get into this most important tip that you're gonna need to know to start up your dispatching business so we do have a low board now for a low board guys you can get one two three low board oh snap I almost spelled that wrong load board guys you can get one two three load board you can get next load board you can get direct freight but the best load board out there right now for dispatchers is DAT guys and for DAT they have a standard edition which is $45 a month and they also have the enhanced edition which is I believe $80 a month guys but with this price you can make this money in just one day with one driver because your load board is you know the key essential thing that you're gonna need and for another tip but this is not the most important thing stay tuned for the end of the video for that most important thing that'll make or break your business but a tip with this load board guys is you want to have probably two or three load boards so you want to have one to three boards you want to have one to three boards so that your loads won't be limited because if you're just on DAT it's only going to be DAT load boards loads on there you know from specific brokers but if you go over to one two three load board or true loads or direct freight it's going to be more brokers on that load board in different cities and different you know pickup times that you can get your drivers the best load so for the second thing was the carrier agreement guys and for the carrier agreement like I said, you just want to make sure that you you have all of your terms in this contract. You want to make sure that you have, you know, 10%, 10% payout 
at you know after two days of supplying the loan you know every single detail you want to make sure they sign that and get it back to you keep it filed because if anything happens between you and a driver you can pull out this carrier agreement and this is legal documentation now if it needs to be if a driver doesn't pay you you can sue them and you can show this record right here and they have their signature on it and you just would have to you know probably be that guy but hey man business is business we need our money so carrier agreement 10% we have our carrier packet and on this carrier packet this is the main things that you're gonna need to know from your driver so like I said the carrier packet is all your drivers information and this is what you will be filling out for the broker when you're trying to get your driver some loads so the three main things you're gonna need to know is the dimensions of the truck okay you need to know the height the width and the length of the truck because even though they might be in a 26 foot box truck the height and the width could be different from other 26 foot box trucks so the dimensions is important because when you are getting some of these loads the dimensions are going to be very specific because sometimes the truck can be packed and stacked you know what I mean the full truck so if one box truck has a dimension of 104 inches in height and another one has a dimension of 96 inches in height that 96 inches can't get that load guys because it's not gonna fit and these brokers don't have no time for you know miscommunication and a load not getting sent for that day because one thing about this trucking industry things are on a time schedule this stuff cannot be a day late it can't be two days late it has to be set and done and if you are gonna get your driver like in trouble if you can't get a load if you book a load for your driver and your driver can't be there you are gonna affect your driver in a big way because one thing about the trucking industry the FMCSA your MC guys your motor carrier authority is all connected so most of these brokers will report you if you mess up their business so that they can you know feel good about themselves and mess up your business so please make sure your driver is picking up these loads make sure you can get him to pick up these loads and uh, yeah you don't want any bad reports on your driver's hand because you don't want to affect your driver's money and your driver's business so with all that being said man carry your packet dimensions you're also gonna need to know if it's dock height by dock height I mean you know four feet tall on the back of the truck so it can fit up to the dock you need to know if it's dock height you need to know if they have a lift gate because a lift gate can affect certain loads that your driver can pick up say it is a residential delivery like I said man there's no dock at a residential so you, you're gonna need to put that lift gate you're gonna need to get the freight from all the way four feet high to all the way on the ground so you're gonna need a lift gate so you just need to make sure that um, they have lift gate. If they don't, you just can't book them any like residential loads or you would have to make sure that the warehouse is going to is dock height so they can just put a forklift or a pallet jack straight on the truck. And also you're gonna need to know the amount of weight that they can carry, the amount of weight that they want to carry guys and what states they wanna stay in. And that's all they would need to know on this carrier packet get a invoicing sheet to get something set up you would just type in invoicing on Google invoicing packets or invoicing paperwork and you will easily find you know a PDF that you can copy and paste and put in your business information at the top and have an invoice filled out and every time you want to invoice somebody you can just go to the copy and change the price and change the business name that you're invoicing and that's pretty self-explanatory from there moment you've all been waiting for the final tip that'll help you make the most money in this business the most important tip would have to be <laughs> before I get into this tip man don't forget to like and subscribe to this video so we can get this video pushed out all over the YouTube algorithm so more people can learn how to dispatch more people can learn how to make money the easy way so please hit that like button smash that thing I S E advertise guys you're gonna want to advertise advertisement is the most important thing in this industry the most important thing in pretty much any business industry and you know without advertisement you know business is pretty much dead because you could be the best three-point shooter in the league you could be the best three-point shooter in the world no Stephen Curry but if nobody knows your talent is nobody seeing your talent if you can't display your talent to anyone then you know you won't matter you won't be the best because you know nobody knows so you want to have your business advertised and by doing this to do this you can just simply post ads on Facebook post ads on Craigslist and you can even post ads on indeed 
but indeed does charge you per application so you can post ads on these three sites guys and you can even have an Instagram page and what you want to do to make yourself more professional is make a website so that you can you know hand out business cards so that you know you can validate your Facebook page and most importantly Facebook is very important so that you can you know have reviews on there have what your business looks like and it's more easy to make than a website but guys business cards is also essential you can hand out these business cards at truck stops you can hand them out at whatever owner operator you see at gas stations and that is it with advertising man you want to advertise 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 because if you can't get drivers to come work for you then you're not going to be making any money in this industry and that's the hard part guys is just getting drivers and getting consistent drivers to you know work every day for you you know what i mean come back to you every day and you know just because y'all are still watching this video just because you hit that like button if you haven't already man hit the like button just because you're being so grateful to me man i just want to say the way to get consistent drivers the way to pull back drivers to work for you every day is you want to make them confident and you want to show that confidence that you are a good dispatcher and you want to make them seem like you know you're making them more money than another dispatcher so what i mean by this is that you can simply pay the psychology game as all right it's a low post on the load board for 600 I'm gonna tell my driver it's posted for 400 and if he you know whatever he says I'm just gonna act like I negotiated it and boom now I just act like I got the load for 600 even though I told my driver 400 or if you know you can still negotiate but sometimes the broker has no room for negotiation but say a load is posted for 400 guys and you need it for 600 and you can get that load for 600 if that's what your driver wants and once your driver knows that you're over negotiating always getting you know better paying loads then they're gonna stick to you guys so that's pretty much a simple tip from there he's gonna look at it like dang I probably you know would have had a thousand dollars less if I wasn't with you know trucking LLC or whatever your business name is so that is the tip of the day guys advertise 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 be confident make your trucker know that you are a confident dispatcher and you can supply him the best load options but that is it for this video on the five things you need to be a truck dispatcher guys if you want to end up to tour I do have boom how to start a dispatching company part one and part two because my editing software would not let me upload them both at the same time so i had to split it up but yes go check out those two videos right there and learn how to be a dispatcher in depth today and make up to a thousand to even three thousand dollars in just one week off of only having five drivers or three to five drivers guys so if you like this video Please make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe because this is Black Investors Group where we make money the easy way and we post daily. So I will see you tomorrow. This is King Lauda. We out. Woo!